channel. Although this video will contain some awesome Fox body content, there will also be some flashing lights. So if there's anyone in your house that's sensitive to this matter, you may want to go ahead and take precautions now. But with that being said, let's go ahead and get to the video. This is Papa T's car. If anybody's new to the channel and you don't know. So what we're gonna be doing with this thing is basically just fixing some of the transmission issues that he has, or I should I say clutch issues. We're gonna work on this car and try to get it back up and going for him because he honestly just hasn't driven it in forever because, well, he doesn't enjoy driving it. He's had this thing now for, I don't know, probably 24, 25 years. We've got an 87 GT. I feel pretty sure it's an 87. We've had so many of them. It's either 87 or 88. I'm excited about it. I want to get this thing back up and going for him good. The car runs pretty good. Uh, well, it has its times, I'll say that. There's times when this thing will just skin it back and then there's other times where it's kind of like, eh, I don't really want to go anywhere. If I'm being completely honest, this car really just needs a custom dyno tune. It's got 30 or 36 pound injectors in it. Um, it's got a supercharger all sorts of stuff so it really needs to be tuned but we're going to see how much of that we can kind of get out of it now we've had this car on the channel before we uh redid the interior on it and made a huge difference in the car um that's been a couple of years ago now though but as you can see the interior of the car is really still good just needs to be cleaned up this car makes its appearance about once every year or two years something like that we have to try to preserve these cars as best we can this car needs some attention it needs a steering rack which andrew just got so we're gonna have to get another steering rack if we can find one but these cars need to be maintained they need to be driven and you need to every once in a while get this thing up on a lift if you can just rent one borrow one whatever the case may be because you'll find a lot of stuff going on underneath this thing that'll tell the story of the car and what it's been through so we're gonna get this thing up on the lift we're gonna check it out see what's going on with the clutch basically pop t says that um, it just doesn't shift good. All right, let's go ahead and get Papa T's car off the trailer. It's gonna be a tight fit back here. I didn't even realize that, but should be able to get it. There's one thing I will say about this car. It is extremely responsive. But man, this thing just tacks up so quick. So guys, this is it. Uh, what this is that you're looking at here, I think this is a 306 or 308. Uh, I can't remember exactly. I think it's 40 over. Uh, it's got a set of World Products uh, Windsor Junior heads. It's got the old SN93 Paxton Supercharger on it, running about five pounds of boost. Cobra intake, some headers and an f303 cam overall though this car has always sounded so good it just it just sounds nasty now this car has got a pro chamber on it with three inch pretty much cat back and uh it just sounds so deep so good but uh guys that's what a set of good valve springs and some good compression will do they'll make these things hit super hard and super crisp all right well that's gonna wrap it up for now next time you see me we'll be getting this thing up on the lift and taking a look at it all right i'll catch you guys then all right it is time to do a little bit of work on papa t's car so i'm just going to take you guys along for the ride uh one of the things that i want to do is get the car up on the lift kind of walk the car back and forth you know want to look at all the suspension components to see how they're wearing all the bushings and things like that um this car has all factory control arms you're not going to be able to see it but those things are a little dry rotted uh, as to be expected it's all factory so you know that would be a really good upgrade go ahead and do that at some point but for right now we're not too concerned about that overall though the car looks pretty good under here we do have some oil leaks and drips and things like that so the steering rack is going to need to be replaced on this car as you all know uh papa t let andrew get his so now that we have his car over here we don't have anything to put on this one but that's okay so that's something that needs to be addressed also this car has a starter issue it likes to like hang up afterwards you know after you try to start it it just doesn't want to stop 
Um, we've replaced the starter a couple different times. Uh, it's wired up correctly. All that stuff's good. I don't know why it's doing it, but we will look into that at some point. Also, the clutch uh, needs some type of adjustment on this thing, so we're gonna look into that as well. But uh, going back here, this car has an exhaust leak, and as you can see right here, this pro chamber is busted. Busted pretty bad, actually, so no problem. We're just gonna go in with this. We're gonna clean that up and uh, just put a new weld on it. Should be good to go. I think that's the only exhaust leak. Uh, if not, I mean, we'll, we'll look into that a little later, but it may be leaking up there around the collector or something like that as well. I just went ahead and cleaned that up a little bit. I'm not gonna worry about the gap. We'll go ahead and fill that in. This thing is old as I don't know what, but it still works. Actually, we have a pinhole right here too. But uh, guys, just go in and do like maintenance like this. Don't throw something away just because it's got a crack in it. All right, I'm gonna go ahead, weld this up, and then we'll move on to the next thing. Oh yeah, also guys, huge shout out to Lincoln Electric. They don't get enough shout outs on the channel. Always forget about it. But man, this has been a lifesaver for me. Lincoln contacted me about, what, six months ago, eight months ago or so, and uh, offered to send out one of their new welders. And guys, this has changed everything for us. That and this lift have been huge. So huge shout out to Lincoln. Guys, if you need a welder and you got the extra cash, go on over and pick yourself up something like this. You know, they always send me a text and ask me if I'm good, if I need anything. Show you guys the settings if you're wondering what I'm using. This typically works pretty good for uh, exhaust. This is a little rusty though, so um, we should still be good. But guys, these, these are the settings that I run. Before anybody says anything, yes, I know I need gloves on. I know. Do as I say, not as I do. Now, I'm not a professional welder by any means, but on stuff like that, what I like to do is go ahead and get a big fat bead, either on the top or bottom. Uh, that way you can start to kind of fill this gap up, kind of seal it up. That top's a little thin. That's why I didn't do it there. But we're gonna go ahead and fill this thing on in. It's that simple guys, just get after it. You don't have to be a, a great welder. None of that matters for what we're doing underneath here. But as long as you get it sealed up, you're good to go. I'm gonna go ahead and add some more welds. So it's about to get ugly now, but these are just gonna be uh, kind of some reinforcement welds. I'm gonna go on up a little bit higher. Just like that, should be good. All right, so we got that patched up. Uh, guys, I don't think there's anything else. I'm gonna kind of look this thing over just to make sure, because now's a good time to go ahead and, and do your maintenance while you're under here. If you see anything else, go ahead and address it. Um, yeah, I think we're good. These things are notorious about that. Basically what happens, these things catch something sharp on the ground, like concrete or something like that, and it just tries to pull the the box here away from the tubes that's very common on these papa t says this thing just doesn't want to shift right um, so we're going to look into that anytime that i've ever hooked one of these things up on the middle hook there's typically three hooks i mean you can get them you know different but if you get the three hooks on the quadrant anytime i hook it on the middle hook or that back hook back there it just it doesn't have enough throw to be able to move the clutch like it needs to. So I always put it on the outside hook. And so many times I have run across this and it'd be hooked on the second hook, the middle hook, and it just doesn't have enough throw. So what you end up doing is tightening this cable up so tight to be able to get enough throw that now you're riding on your throw out bearing and that's not good. So that's gonna be one of the things that we look at. Uh, this, is, this is a little too tight, but we're gonna go in there and look guys and I'll let you know what we find. Check it out, guys. We just got done with the live stream. I just wanted to show you guys just like 
just got done with the live stream and now we are off to working on Papa T's car again. We've welded everything up right here and uh, now what we gotta do is try to figure out this clutch setup. So we get the car down and check the clutch out and see if everything's good there and I'll let you guys know what I find out. I don't know if you guys can see that or not, but that particular quadrant only has one hook on it. So this is what I've noticed through the years with the quadrants that only have one hook. For whatever reason, they don't seem to be as far forward as the other quadrants do. Uh, I've not had good luck with them. I love the three hook quadrants uh, and you go to that outer hook and it just seems to give you more throw. You know, this clutch cable could be stretched or something like that going on. So we may just have to hold off on the car, go get a new clutch cable, probably do some plugs and some wires. I'll show you guys a trick on that. All right, well, that is basically my overview of Papa T's car. Did a little bit here, a little bit there. Can't fix everything in one night. So I'll catch you guys later on in the week and we should go ahead and get this thing wrapped up. I'll catch you guys in the next one. And as always, thanks for watching.